up everybody, I'm Andy Moore Central and with the river running behind us, a Guinness truck over there and a couple of other buses and bits um, running around in TFI livery. Um, only one thing needs to be said, that is once again welcome back to Dublin. I loved my visit here um, last time that much and even the time before that much and um, that once again I've returned um, it is the new year bits again although this video is going to be released a few weeks after that um, but we're here for new years um, and I thought we'd do a little bit of transport related um, bits and bobs in between as well because you can do a bit of tour um, bit of tourism but you can also link in um, the public transport the public transport can help you achieve the tourism as well let's not forget what we did last year we did quite a lot of the local um, Dublin bus network we got to some amazing um, picturesque locations lovely lovely places um, lovely pubs as well along the way um, so if you haven't already do go and check out those videos of when I went on those lovely lovely buses um, around Dublin now for this year we're doing something a little bit different um, it struck me last year that the coaching scene is an incredibly highly competitive um, market in Ireland, especially around Dublin Airport, um, for where the services sort of go from there. It is incredibly competitive, with lots of different operators um, trying to seal the deal um, with tourists here, and even locals returning back to their hometown or home city um, within the Republic. So I thought, um, for at least this video, um, we would focus around the coaching operators. I thought we'd focus around one um, that quite a lot of people um, will know, quite iconic, in the form of Aircoach. Now, Aircoach works with Dublin Airport quite closely. They're in all of the car park shuttles, and Aircoach also run quite a lot of commuter coach services around Ireland. They run one up to Belfast, they run one down to Cork, they run a couple of local ones, and they also run a service to Galway in the form of the 706 and the 706X. So in this video, we're going to be taking a trip over to Galway. I'm going to take you on the coach with me. I'm going to explain the operator behind the coach um, and why it's quite iconic. And we're going to have a little look around Galway, see the exciting stuff that there is to see um, in Galway um, from a tourist perspective as well. And see if it's worth doing the coach trip over there, what we think of that and what we think of Galway itself. So we've got about 10 or 15 minutes um, before the coach gets here to our ominous bus stop in Dublin centre, bearing in mind this service, like the rest of the air coach ones, starts at the airport. So we will see you all when our coach arrives. So here we are, coming up now is our Volvo B11RT um, and B11R. Um, taking us to Galway City, 19 plate, um, lovely, lovely vehicle. And as I say, the 706X, um, that is the quickest that they offer towards um, Galway. Coach 43. There we go, so 17 minutes um, from departing um, Dublin city centre. Um, we are now quite um, out of the centre itself. Um, it's pretty easy um, to get out. You go straight past Houston Station um, and then um, you start to go on sort of the dual carriageway roads and bits like that. We're not on the fastest of the fastest roads yet. We are still leaving um, the Dublin sort of city precinct. Um, but once we've left there, we'll probably get a little bit more speed up. A little bit of um, Irish countryside scenery all being well um, as we make our way to Galway. 
Now the 706 um, X is 15 minutes quicker than the 706. Now the 706 runs 30 minutes in front of this at this time. That might be why this this coach is particularly quiet. If it was me, I probably won't run them together. Um, I would sort of split it up a little bit. Um, but I imagine um, our first um, air coach, um, having done their research, um, will understand um, that there's a need for both to run at the same time, presumably. And um, there is the demand um, on the 706, for example. Um, that this has to sort of supplement it and bits like that. And um, the 706 um, stops at a few towns that we don't stop at, we just run straight through to Galway, and um, that is what we want. So this route itself does take two hours and 30 minutes from leaving Dublin Centre. An additional half an hour if you go from the airport. So if you go from the airport, you set off there at half past ten, you get into Galway Coach Station, if all goes to plan, at half past one. Now the idea behind this is because it doesn't stop on the way, um, it will be set down only I imagine to Galway itself, um, it does mean that if we get a really good run through with traffic and um, we might get there early, um, that they'll be pretty awesome and um, get a little bit more time having a wander around, that is really what we want to do. Um, again, the 706, half an hour in front of this will only get some 15 minutes in front of us, um, so we'll probably see it when we get there, if not we'll see it just leaving. So Air Coach um, is a subsidiary of First Boss. Um, now First Boss is a lot smaller um, than it was back in the day, so this is a lot um, mitigated a lot more now into the UK business. Um, the latest part of that um, was the introduction of some brand new Mercedes-Benz Turismo coaches for the 705 that runs up to um, Belfast. And instead of them having Irish cherished plates this time round, they've actually got full UK registrations. Similar thing to what National Express have done on the same corridor, um, but they've got full UK plates. It just gives you a little bit of an inclination as to the um, close relationship um, that there is now. So it is, as I say, a subsidiary of First Bus. It reminds me a lot of doing the rail air um, business um, down in Berkshire. Um, and I do need to revisit, I need to do the other RAs. Um, so this, this is really what I'm, I'm, I'm comparing um, that to, is, is this. So we'll see how it goes. Um, come for coach, as I say, USBs, I'll show you a few of the features of it shortly. But for now, I'll show you a few views as we continue to leave Dublin and hopefully, as I say, get into some nice Irish and countryside. So we're currently on 10 past 12, um, that is from the very accurate, or 11 minutes past now, from the very accurate um, time um, sort of clock screen at the front. Um, quite surprised it doesn't have any other extra information on it. Uh, one expects a few sort of flashing adverts and things like that, potentially quite a good use of a board, um, but I must say having the time up there is very helpful. 
So, I'm um, having a little look at the features on this coach. We'll start off with the obvious ones. We've got the lovely USB ports here. And um, we've got the incredibly nice air coach seats as well with the old orange and blue um, sort of livery on them. You don't see as much orange on the air coaches anymore. Air coach used to be orange and blue, um, but now they've sort of adopted a full blue livery um, with white writing. So you don't get um, the sort of appreciation of this um, seating as much as you will have done when this coach was new a few years ago. So as well as having the USBs here and um, for where I'm sat at the back middle and uh, there's also USBs down there and if we have a little look as well um, at the leg room I mean I'm still I mean yes I'm sat, I'm sat here and um, to give myself a little bit more leg room um, but the leg room still isn't that bad at all there's still a fair bit of space um, between where I would be sat like this um, and where the seat in front is that's pretty cool. There's a toilet facility here, hasn't been used yet, um, but it is um, unlocked and available for use. It's always got on a long distance service like this. Then you've got some nice blue lighting again, staying with the air coach blue theme that, that, that I think is pretty cool. Um, you've got free Wi-Fi on this coach as well. And the free Wi-Fi hasn't run out yet either. I mean, I've been um, using it quite comprehensively um, and usually Wi-Fi um, connections have usually um, sort of and push me out of them by now um, I've been sort of surf the web um, a fair bit and on the socials um, but I'm still connected to the Wi-Fi um, I mean an hour and a half after I connected in so it's pretty pretty strong critical Wi-Fi you've got all your standard features your air ventilation um, a bit of air con stuff like that that's pretty cool um, and you don't have anything fancy on the floor like it's not fancy maquette but it's still a coach that does the job now the final bit that does confuse me a little bit that I would say lets it down when you sit at the back um, in this sort of weather where it's cloudy, it's still relatively light but um, it's not, the sun isn't beaming in, is if we look behind me and we have a little look there's no window there. Um, usually there is a rear window. Um, there's no window on this. Um, I believe this is um, the bodywork style um, in order to have a rear destination. Um, but I just find it incredibly strange that there just isn't a window there. Um, I feel like you lose a lot of light for that. I mean, yes, you gain an, ad an advert space um, that's pretty cool financially. But from a customer perspective, you do lose a lot of light, especially if um, you're doing a sort of run like we'll be doing later on um, as, the sun as the sun's setting or or it's just set um, and you would lose quite a lot of sunlight if the sun is behind you um, as you make your way um, on your journey so it is, a, it is an interesting choice um, but apart from that I would say the coach is really nice the seats are really comfy as well um, really really just they might be basic style but they, they are comfy seats um, that's what you want that does the job on a journey like this um, that as I say doesn't feel like two and a half hours um, it, it's been quite a comfortable journey quite a nice one so far So this is the only stop that we serve between Dublin and Galway on the 706X. Now the 706 itself stops here as well, um, but that stops a few other places and goes into a few towns. Meanwhile for us this is as, most, as much as we get off the motorway. From here we are straight back on the motorway and straight up to Galway.
So here we go, so we're arriving into Galway now um, for a little bit of geography um, we have pretty much jumped on the road west and kept going that way and um, that's what you do I mean Dublin's on the east coast and Galway's on the west coast so hopefully a nice contrast um, between the two we may see a few local buses about however we are mainly here um, to have a little look um, at the culture around some of the tourist spots and some of hopefully um, the sort of picturesque scenery um, that we've, we've been promised from a little bit of research. So we are about 10 to 15 minutes late um, as we pull into Galway now, although we are pretty much um, in the centre um, on our way around to the coach station. Now what's good about the Air Coach 706 and 706X is they do drop off and pick up from the coach station. Not been here before, um, but as somebody that is travelling here for the first time it is quite... Um, good to know um, that your coach service goes from a prominent place like the coach station. I know that some of these services serve random streets and bits like that and then I imagine they're a bit obvious when you get there um, but upon first impression um, finding out that your service goes from a coach station is always a bit of a sigh of relief. So here we go pulling into the coach station now. at the tower near the sea goodness me look how quick that's going so this is um, pretty much an estuary at this point and um, the sea is literally just over there and um, so that's why this is as intense i think that's a mix with um quite a few um bits of rain recently um has caused the water level to go up a little bit that's why it's just as quick just as choppy as it is goodness me
I do wish it wasn't raining, but I must say that this is one of the coolest pubs I've ever been to. Um, we've just come out here to go to the toilet, and the toilet is a shop. <laughs> so you see ladies as well. They've got a pizzeria out here. Um, they've got photo, a photo thing. They've got other bars, so you can get a pizza, you can have um, a drink out here. I imagine during the summer this is insane. Um, this is really, really cool and all the old traditional shops. So yeah, for context, this is the O'Connell's um, pub. So O'Connell's is about a five minute walk, if that, from the coach station. Now I knew it was going to rain, so that's why we came here. But again, this is so, so awesome. So here we are, so that was a fun afternoon in Galway, as you can see we did a little exploring, a bit of shopping, um, a bit of photographing and a couple of pints in the pub, including um, an alcoholic Guinness and a non-alcoholic Guinness, both on draft, so it was an incredibly nice treat. So we're heading now to the coach station to catch our 706X back to Dublin. So here is ours, ours will be the 16.30 um, to Dublin and the airport for which we're getting off um, in Dublin centre. Um, it's just coming as a 7.06, this will be our coach, it's a 15 plate um, example um, and this will be taking us um, on the 16.30 7.06X service. So what's pretty cool with Galway by the looks of it is the coach has just come in um, and it has a stand so presumably either a representative or I would imagine even the driver stands at the stand, um, does all the tickets and then jumps on and the coach makes the move. Not seen that before, um, I think it's incredibly cool though. Um, but yes, this will be our coach on the 1630 service through to Dublin that should get us back all being well at 7 o'clock on the dot. Here's ours. It turns out it's not the 15 plate, um, but is in fact a 19 plate coach. Um, potentially, by the looks of it, I think it's actually the same one that we caught here. So I don't know where on earth um, it's been parked, but it turns out it um, looks to be the exact same coach that we had. Um, no complaints, it was a comfy coach, um, but wasn't expecting the same one. So yeah, since it's the um, same coach that we caught coming here, and we may as well um, get the best view in the house um, with a front seat view on our way to Dublin. So there we go, so we're already with a front view on the air coach, best seat in the house um, on our way to Dublin. Got some classic Tato's um, to have as well, so should be a pretty decent run. It should take us about two and a half hours um, to get there. So it should be a decent run all in all.
are arriving back into Dublin now. We were again running about 10 minutes late upon arrival, um, but not too bad to say how long the route is all in all. So here we are in Dublin. And that was our experience um, going to the lovely Galway with the amazing air coach by First Bus. So what we'll do is I'll pass into the studio for a little bit of a sum up um, as to um, what I thought of the journey, what I thought of the place um, and any other bits and bobs that I may have missed. So to conclude this video, and I only have positives um, to say about the adventure. The only negative was is that we ended up with the same vehicle in both directions. I want to mind a different one um, as the air coach um, coaching fleet is quite big. But as you'll see in a video coming up very soon, um, I do show you the different types of coaches that they run and um, the different year specs um, of the um, Volvos as well and the different features that they have henceforth. So you will get to see all of that um, in a separate video. Video. I thought the coach was incredibly comfortable. Um, I thought the run, um, although it wasn't the most scenic of trips, um, I thought it was really cool to be on a coach. And once again, I do like a good old coach and adventure. Um, they weren't too busy with the coaches. It was nice. Um, they were relatively, relatively quiet and um, weren't um, absolutely packed to the rafters, as I say. The seats were comfy, the journey was swift, we weren't stopping absolutely everywhere so it wasn't painful and um, the drivers um, were very friendly, very nice um, and it was the customer service individual um, at Galway was incredibly friendly as well, incredibly helpful and um, so it was a really, really nice journey overall. Um, Galway itself, absolutely tremendous place, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, the um, Guinness that we had in the pub was very very nice. The walking around was very very nice. Visiting the shops was lovely as well. And the one thing I would recommend though with somewhere like Galway is do what we did where um you sort of have a late start. Um if you don't mind a coaching adventure, do the do the coaching adventure across. It is two and a half hours um just as a heads up. So if you don't like long trips, um where you spend most of the day on the coach, probably for you. But if you're like me, you like your bit of transport, like a bit of walking around, like a bit of beer, um, head out to Galway on the coach, have a few hours there, and then do what we did and catch one back about three, four hours later. So it's that, it's that kind of place. You probably don't want to spend a full day there, um, but it is a, a pretty nice place for about sort of four, three, four hours um, worth of exploring. With all of that in mind, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming it. If you have done, do be sure to click that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy like you have. And if you haven't already, do be sure to subscribe to the Anmore Central YouTube channel for more content like this from the real-life public transport industry. Do look out for other videos from my adventures in Dublin, both this year and last year. There is a, a log of um, them from last year where we got a leap card and did Dublin bus and the other public transports. Do check that one out. And do look forward, and as I say, do subscribe so you don't miss it but do look forward to the other air coach videos that i have coming out very very soon once again i'd like to thank you all for watching i really hope you've enjoyed this one and i will see you all in the next video mate goodbye for now bye